realising how very important, very, very important it is to keep moving because when you see children and watch them and, and their movements are just so natural and uninhibited, just to hang on to a little bit of that in old age, I think would be a very worthwhile thing to do. My own Gantevic to Didos, my own Rubeth Sidon. Well, and Debbie Gown of Ward, a firv Calvadol, Moyaf, Canar and Death, Canhara. I don't know how my boys to give you. There is a vocabulary, I think. There is a dance vocabulary, not, not one that, that is taught as such, but one that you discover yourself. Um, and it's just watching people in kind, I see that everyone has a different vocabulary. And it seems to be an expression, really, of, of who, who, who we are. It comes out as, not as words, but as movement, but I see it as vocabulary. Keep breathing. Can you tell me where they get into it? So, um, working consciously with the breath in this way, the movement comes from another place. The whole, the whole dance begins to settle and it, and it comes from, it comes from a, a, a really clear place of listening, which I keep banging on about all the time. Um, this quality to it. It all kind of expands outwards. <laughs> Which I love seeing. I, you know, it's that, that first breath that we took when we were born, that first breath that sort of kicked us into gear and, and began this whole process that we're still involved in. 
process of self-expression. Babies express themselves through movement, uh, as, as we know, as we observe, and the voice as well, and, and everything else. But yeah, the breath is important, um, and it, it does keep that sense of, of, of life in the movement. It's, it's, it's interesting. I love the slow, sustained movement, and uh, I'm very happy with that. I, yeah, I could lie there all day lifting my arm up if I had the time and the, uh, yeah, the encouragement. <laughs> it's very calming, and you do become more aware of the breath and, and the heart. It's an internal, sort of introspective thing. Um, but you do also have to be aware of what's going on in the music, because you do have to be somewhere at the end of that two minutes forty. Um, you don't really still need to be on the floor, which, you know, certainly I think I, I could just stay there really for much longer than that. But uh, so it, it's, it's a two way thing. There is there is there is that relaxation, but there's also that awareness of where you are, where you need to be. Uh, what the next move is going to look like and and are you getting yourself ready for that and you know where are your muscles and where where are different bits of the body and are they all where they need to be so there's a lot more going on than just sticking your arm in the air and breathing it's, 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 quite, it's quite a process really that that was really important step I think for the group when when that when that idea came, came in of attempting a balance and then the swooping of the group to very gently support but not not prevent and for me I, I could make the balance but what I wanted to do was actually go further than that and reach and stretch beyond my capacity to balance and the group enable that and it's a lovely feeling actually but still you've got to hold on and trust yourself as well as the group. It's not really very fair to expect them to, to be responsible <laughs> for you keeping, um, keeping upright. But it's enough, the support's enough to allow you to just extend a little beyond where you usually might be. And that's, that's a lovely thing, really. Because in everyday life, you know, we have to stay very balanced, don't we? Otherwise we'd fall over, we can't stretch beyond where our balance allows us. So it's, it's quite special. And I think uh, when we first began that movement, uh, I think it started to, f to form a different um, feeling amongst the group of, of being held and holding <sighs> and supporting. It was a very important nice image really, I think, for us to hold brings about, I think, a closeness and an engagement. Mary Winnan Dysgu Iaith sydd yn wahanol iawn i iaith geiriau neu unrhyw fath o ffordd o gyfathrebu ac trwy wneud Mary and Anna missed in Godwellian a bowed. Um uh, Yeah, you got to be ready she's going to fly there. And Tina and Voy. Nice, great. Sikil. Oh, ni no hi ni na Osman no wedi board. I mewn i weld bes i dyna. Ah, and true some mid my own. And my petha and newid or some mid reset. This is kind of quite a unique project in a way that it's taken quite a while to build up. It's been going for the last five years um, and now it's kind of gathered some steam and it's taken this time really. But it's really, it, it feels like it's really embedded now in the theatre which is great. It's a group of women, over, over 60. Uh, we haven't yet recruited men. And it's a group that's focused on creative process and performance. And I'd say that maybe at the moment the creative process seems to be really important. And the, the, the performance is a byproduct of that, really. Yes. 
In what, in what way? More constricting. More constricting. And I found it less. Less. Well, for me, okay. obviously not for you, but because I felt it was less scary. Yeah, I felt that. Mm -hmm. And more grounded and more thing. I dance because it's in me. I, I think I move, and it seems to be the right thing to do. I, as I said before, I, as a child, I never walked down a road. I sort of skipped, turned around the stones, touched the grasses, things like that. So it's there. I'm sure it's in thousands and thousands of people. Um, I just hope I don't try to cut it out as much as some people do. So I just want to remember that movement, which is in me, and that's why I dance. Uh, and being in Kai's group, yeah, has just has given me an extra stimulus, an extra discipline, because life takes over and you forget, and you just do your own things. So uh, it's helped me to concentrate those ideas and hopefully better the movement, make it more meaningful. And um, because it's a group, uh, we dance together, we find out relationships to each other, relationships to the music, relationships to where we are, and, and they're important, and then to get other people's ideas and spin-off are, are good. So, and how's, how has it changed my life? It's just made it a bit more focused, and I want to go to Kai's groups every time they're there. processes on, on, on making work that somehow related to, um, to their lives and to their experience of being uh, in this community where they are. That seems really important so that there's a bridge between the creative process and, and, and their life. So we're working with themes that are relevant to them. The first piece we made that was about invisibility and their experience of invisibility and ageing. Um, um, and the next piece that we're doing is working with our relationship to ground and sky, um, both that experience in life and in the studio, when they experience moments of grounding and, and moments of flying. Um, and one person voiced about their experience of ageing, that they, they, they said that they imagined ageing was about closing, but their experience now is that ageing can be uh, something about opening, um, which I thought was very relevant. Dwi ddim wedi dawnsio a thi fi fod yn, yn yn y geinia, ond dwi'n teimlo bod e wedi rhoi geirfa newydd i fi. A, ond i ddim yn sylweddoli ar y pryd, ond ar ôl dechrau dawnsio, ond i just yn sylweddoli bod, bod yna bwlch yn y mywyd. Achos dwi ddim yn canu, dwi ddim yn uh, gallu chwarae o fferyn, dwi ddim yn peintio, Dwi'n mynd sgwenni. A dwi'n just yn teimlo bod, bod bwlch o ran bod yn greu adegol. A dwi'n dwi teimlo bod dawns wedi dod â hynny nôl. Dim yn dweud bod fi'n dda, cos dyn ni i gyd yn dysgu o'r newydd. Ond, ond ie, yeah, dwi'n teimlo bod na geirfa i mynegu teimladau, i mynegu pethau bydda wedi aros yn ymhen allan. Lucas, my kind wedi i sefydlu. A nath e just dod amse iawn yn y mywyd i. Achos um, rhyw tair blanedd cynt, o'n i wedi colli i fy ngŵr yn, yn i fanc. A hefyd o'n i yn y cyfnod ble oedd y merched i gyd yn y merched i gyd yn mynd off i byw i bywyd i hun. Ac yn sydyn rhaid, o'n i'n teimlo bod fi ar y mhen yn hun. A dwi meddwl um, yn ystod y proses gylaru, o'n i wedi colli y gallu edrych ymlaen 
gyda un rhyw fath o obaith, really. O'n i'n byw yn bywyd, o'n i'n ok, o'n i'n byw yn bywyd o dydd i ddydd, ond o'n i'n ofan edrych i'r dyfodol, achos o'n i'n gweld heneiddio yn broses o colled ar ôl colled. A mae hynny just wedi cael ei chwalu yn cain, a dwi'n ffind o'n hun yn naw yn meddwl am bethau fath a Wel, dwi'n chwedeg ffloedd yn nes y dwi eisiau naid eriol dant cyn iddo hefyd yn rhy hwyr. O ni uh, eisiau mynd ar gwyliau yoga a dwi wedi mynd llwyth o weithiau. Naeth un o'r merched prynu am gweithdy mewn um, uh, cwmni syrcus yn cael dydd i fem hemblwydd llynedd. A gwnes i weil am y dai. O, they're wonderful. A fi jyst yn ffind o bod e wedi chwalu unrhyw syniad o... Um, Hennaint fel rhywbeth i ofni, a dwi'n teimlo bod fi'n gallu croesaw i mynd yn hun, a dwi'n jyst yn gweld yr holl pethau, dwi eisiau gwneud, a dwi'n meddwl bod dawnsio jyst wedi rhyddhau rhywbeth yn fi. I, I, I fi ddarganfod fod fi newydd, mae'n pywyd i'n amlwg wedi newid lot, ond dwi'n jyst teimlo yn grounded now, a... A dwi'n teimlo bod fi'n gallu dawnsio allan teimladau anodd weithiau. Um, heb gorfod dweud yn byd. Yn cain. Mae'n y lot o, o, o honyn ni yn byw oherwydd am gylchiadau yn byw ar yn pennau yn hunan. Falle ddim oedd ewis. A mae e'n rhyw ffordd. Mae dys grŵp yn gallu cynnwys hynny a... Ie, mae wedi rhoi am nerth i fi, really. Mae gyda ni athro iawn. Mae'n cymryd tipyn o ddewrde i ddechrau dawnsio. Wel i fi ar ôl bwlch o 40 mlanedd, dwi'n meddwl i rai o'r merched falle bod nhw byth wedi um, dawnsio. Uh, dams credigol o'r blaen. A mae cael wastad yn canolbwyntio ar beth dyn ni'n medru naid a gweithio gyda'r gyda gallu ni, ond o, mae'n mes dyn ni cael mae'n. A mae jyst yn gwybod yn union y fath o help dyn ni angen. So mae'n y lot o sôn am um, symud gyda'r anadl uh, and of flwydd yn gyntaf, dwi'n meddwl nath yn ei dawnsio ar y llawr o gwbl achos lot o bobl yn poeni am dod i fyny wedyn. Ond um, mae Caia Despina wedi dysgu yn ei sut i gallu mynd lawr ar y llawr a codi i fyny. Heb um, ddimys. A dwi jyst yn teimlo bod pawb wedi codi i bob her o herwydd bod ni'n ymddiried yn y fecamaint. Mae profiad ni dwi'n meddwl yn sbesial iawn i cael yr un choreographer i weithio gyda ni am am flynyddoedd. Costa ni really yn dod i deall yn gilydd. So small openings of the body, bigger openings of the body. Different rhythms of opening. Rhythm e gwahanol o agor. Gweithio mae cael yn rhoi her i ni. A mae'n glyfar iawn, cos dyna ni ddim yn gwylio yn gwybod beth dyna ni naid. Ond er enghraifft, bydd e'n dweud wrth yn ni i anadlu mewn ffordd gwahanol a dawnsio gyda'n anadl. Ac yn sydyn iawn, mae rhywun yn ffindio ei hun yn, yn gweithio'n gyflym, gyflym, gyflym. A yw siol lot o gofod. A, a mae'n estyn y geirfa, a mae'n jyst rhyw teimlod a ryddid pyr. Yeah. Playing with this rhythm. It's at a juxtaposition to, to the speed of the world somehow. Um, and this kind of pace feels really important and, and that's relevant to my work and it's really coming through in my work that this desire to just have an experience of depth and be with one thing and it's, you know, we've been working for five years with this 
and actually now we're beginning to sow some deeper seeds and it takes a long time um, but I get a lot from it. I get a lot from the wisdom that's in the room I guess you know um, with with people that's been on the planet much longer than I am <laughs> and, and and to see that maybe to see that history in motion uh, in the body in the way that it's expressed um, that I find that I find really fascinating and actually my desire to work with I wouldn't say non-dancers because everyone is but my desire to work with people that um, are older comes from the fact that I'm fascinated by seeing this history in the body. Some people are confident, other people are not confident but want to dance and Kai makes that possible for people by making sure that it's not a place where anyone can get anything wrong. Whatever you do, it's your movement, it's your work, and, and, and that's good. Uh, and he, he, yeah, he facilitates that and encourages, a great encourager. People do have ways of expressing themselves, and, and I think that the arts are a great way of expressing yourself. There's many, many ways of expressing your feelings, expressing yourself, and dance. For, for me, it's dance. We're encouraged, very much encouraged to to find whatever movement is suitable and works for us. But then there's also the the opportunity to be a group and to work with each other and to observe and 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 perhaps take on some of the movement that we see in others and and share our movement with others and and become well a group, a community. Uh, and I think with Kine in particular, that's working really well. I've only been in the group since August, and yet um, already I feel part of the group. That's important. As well as opening, we begin to explore small closing movements. Akor, Akai, closing and opening. They did rhythm. What's the rhythm of opening and closing? What's the feeling of opening and closing? More than self-expression and more than um, becoming part of a group and expressing together a joint expression. There are moments when uh, the world seems to stop around you and there seems to be nothing but the moment really and that's a, a very special feeling for me and I think perhaps the reason I continue dancing is the search for that moment. Of other people and allow myself to have momentary moments of duet and then I come back to my own experience again. So just glimpses of following or catching someone else's movement of opening. And then returning back to my own experience of opening. Got an all wedding in here. Can I keep opening? Dalia Gormbue. Every surface of the body, both hand or cough. And I begin to play with the rhythm of opening. How can I open fast? Slow. myself to steal movements, to borrow movements, event thing. The big influence on, on this way of working, I guess, for me has been the work of Anna Halprin. I've been to see her uh, in California a, a few times and then continued my interest in the Tamalpa process. Um, 
which is an integration of my interest in both my work, uh, my uh, psychotherapy and, and in the creative process and how, I guess, how to offer a space that allows people to bring all of themselves um, to their dancing. So not to leave any bits out, but to bring all of themselves. Um, so she's been a big inspiration. She's uh, 94 now and still teaching, still learning, which is, uh, and still offering what she, what she knows. And, and I guess there's a part of me that hopes that I can keep, <laughs> uh, keep that going for myself too. I guess making a space that people can bring all of themselves to the creative process um, seems to be something that I'm interested in a great deal. Um, I guess the, the, the therapeutic aspects related to dance and dancing, um, because of what my experience of the group uh, in the creative process, it seems to resonate on several levels, that it's beyond, uh, beyond just the, I guess, coming together to dance, which is an important part, but it, it seems to serve different things for different people, which has a larger uh, um, a bigger impact somehow in their life. Ar a deg, long time to open. Longer than you think. Breathing, slowing down. Daith o agor, the journey of opening. And it's going to take you up to standing, but it's going to take about five minutes. To know Allow yourself to know that in terms of your pacing now. Not a day. Let the eyes see the whole space and each other. And very slowly begin to let the arms drop. And you're just standing, still remaining with this sense of openness. 
ond mae hi yn ddiame yn rhywbeth tu hwnt i brofiad cyffredin rhyw un brofiad pob dydd, pob un ohono ni. A mae yna rhywbeth arbennig yn digwydd. A dwi'n meddwl bod ni mae'n anahal prin yn mae'n dyfyniad enw o gynnau hi mae cae yn um, dyfynnu wrth hynny. Um, sut mae dawns heals um, ourselves and the world. A dwi'n meddwl bod hwnna yn wir mae wedi wneud gwahaniaeth mawr i fi fel person wedi help i fi. Um, achoswn ni wedi mynd trwy cyfnod a reit di yn uh, ystod yr pymtheng mlaen y dwytha. Ac um, <laughs> mae ci yn cos i'n rhaid. <laughs> ci yn llaf i'n rhaid, sori. Tyd i ddim yn wneud fel arfer. <laughs> Am dwi'n bresso mae hi'n wedi dechrau'r brofi i hun heddiw. Ie, yeah, dwi ddim yn meddwl bod um, basa pawb yn meddwl am dan, um, dan y peth fel rhywbeth ysbrydol. Ond dwi'n siŵr bod pawb yn, basa pawb yn cytun y bod ni yn ei gyd yn, yn, yn well uh, mewn rhyw ffordd. A dwi'n meddwl bod ni just, nid jyst yn gorfforol o ran cael dibymach o marfer corff, ond bod na rhywbeth yn fwy na hynny yn, yn digwydd. Rhywbeth meddyliol, ysbrydol, emosiynol rhyw tyfiant efallai, bod ni yn tyfu. I, I feel I am more myself than I was a year ago. Mae'r dawns yn helpu fi fod yn fi fy hun. Yn well, na faswn ni heb cael dawnsio. Mae'r rhywun yn dod o hyd i rhywbeth tra'n dawnsio sydd yn amhosib ei brofi Mae ni nhw ffordd arall. Mae'n fath o iaith arbennig. Ac be dwi i yn hoffi um, yw yfraint o, o gael ddysgu'r iaith arbennig yma. Um, ac dwi'n mond wedi bod efo cainers jyst dros blwyddyn, blwyddyn, unio lle. Ac dwi wedi, well, mae wedi traws newid y myd, dy dy gwir. Achos mae wedi rhoed rhywbeth ychwanegol i fi a'r uh, ddiwedd yn hoes um, ar ôl i fi troi um, am hell mwyn o hanner cant. <laughs> Pan fel rhywun yn meddwl am y mynd yn hun ar, ar rhywun, mae yna byd newydd o mlaen ni a bob math o gwahanol posibiliadau trwy dim yna o'r blaen. A nid jyst cyfle i fynd i dosbathiadau ac i berfformio, ond i arbrofi ac i ffynd o allan pethau amdan y fi fy hun. Um, mae wedi wneud lot fawr o newid i fi yn bersonol. Dwi'n ffynd o allan pethau amdan y fi fy hun, troedd ni ddim yn gwybod o blaen. Ac yn cysylltu â phobl eraill mewn ffordd unigryw. Ac yn creu rhywbeth rhwng cythwn ni sydd yn arbennig iawn. Um, fatha gweddi os ydy uh, y peth ar ei orau mae hyn fatha gweddi rhwng cythwn. Dyn ni yn ymddiried yn angilydd cymaint nes os ydy rhywun yn symud um, mewn ffordd lle maen nhw'n mynd um, dyb bach yn beryglus y ffordd maen nhw'n sefyll mae ma pobl yna yw dal nhw ac yn sylweddoli a does dim angen poeni fyddwn nhw yna i helpu. Ma hwnna'n rhywbeth sydd yn dau rhywbeth am cymuned â ni wedi creu, really, uh, yn y dawns. Ac dwi'n meddwl bod cau wedi ffurfio grŵp um, a ffurfio cyfle i rhoed yr profiadau yna i ni yn y ffordd mae o yn dysgu, achos mae o'n arbennig o dda. Um, y ffordd mae o'n gallu ein derbyn ni, a derbyn beth bynnag gyda ni'n wneud. Tydi o ddim byth yn, yn dweud pethau cas, a tydi o byth yn molu unrhyw unigolyn, mae e'n molu i'r grŵp cyfan. Felly mae pawb yn trio i gorau glas, a ddim yn poeni am beth 
mae'n diedrych fel. Mae e'n brofiad arbennig. Mae bwysig sylweddol i bod anadlu yn fath o ddawns. A bod anadlu yn bwysig tu hwnt i ddawns. Os na gwyt ti'n yn anadlu yn iawn ac yn llawn, mae'r symudiad yn llai. A gosod ti'n anadlu yn llawn, mae'r symudiad yn ymestyn ac yn fyw ac mae'n ffrio. A dyna fe sydd yn hyfryd, hyfryd i brofi ac i weld yn digwydd mewn pobl eraill yn dyr. Make sure you have enough space, yeah. Dwi'n derbyn fy hun anwell nag oedden ni o'r blaen. Efallai oherydd bod cau yn ein derbyn ni. Dim mors beth yn ei wneud, mae yn derbyn ni yn ddistaw ac yn garedig. A mae hwnna yn anrheg i roi dyn rhyw un. Ac mae wedi bod yn fraint bod yn ei dosbarthiadau fo. Dyn y gwir. And the other experience, could you find the, the, the micro, the small as well as the, the big? So just a finger and a bit of yeah. mm -hmm. And mana yachad. Okay. Medallion hevid. See then dig with. Dyna beth sydd wedi bod yn bwysig iawn i fi. Dyna beth oedd y dawnsell a dwylo. A rhywbeth sydd wedi bod a wedi cuddio. O dwi wedi bod yn cuddio am yn hir ac yn dechrau trwy um, beth sydd yn digwydd yn y dosbarthiadau dod allan o'r cuddio yma i mewn i'r golau. A dwi'n meddwl bod um, pobl eraill fasa cytuno a fi bod rhywbeth tebyg yn efallai wedi digwydd iddyn nhw hefyd. I guess sourcing movement from that place in the body, from the place of emotion, or that connection. I guess I'm moved by their commitment more than anything, in a big way, because they they they, they really do, uh, they really do commit themselves. And and I guess that's the thing I see when I or experience when I see them moving together, is that they're dancing from a particular place. Um, from the connection to the emotional body, the physical body, and images that we work with, um, and that somehow has a that somehow has a, has has a different kind of impact on me. And that's what I mean when I speak about depth. It's somehow related to this that they bring their life experience to their dance, and from the studio they take the dance to that's their life experience, heavy, right? and how these yeah. things cross over, uh, as Anna talks about, um, is of great interest to me. It's bigger than just dancing together. It serves another. It serves another um, another purpose. It's also about the community yeah, of, nice, of of the collective of people, the group, how they support each other. Shots, the Hinka skin well, Pedahi and Cal both had or Keith for the Mount team have a again out Greek, Sidon, Greek and kind may and help your spread. Aki then he then he believed no one gilly with ya, Adanian and dead. Oh, then he beat him in the govy or hen on Danian, Adani, and my wife and daughter Tigilly Rusith. Mae'r profiad o fod yn perfformio yn beth newydd yn y mywyd i. Ac o'n i'n berson swil iawn, dwi'n meddwl bod fi'n dod allan o'n rhagen dipyn bach wrth ddawnsio hefyd.
Do we with the gweld near with Maur and the far my plants with the gweld near with Maur and the only making near with it to line at all. Ah, um, do we press the real on my honey with that? He would bump with well the hind and he and you get to carf a can I that can split and yeah, to move. Pam o'n i'n mynd i Llandudno i weld cae. O'n i'n teimlo bod ni eisiau mynd i gefnogi cae yn, yn y gwaith oedd o'n neud. Dwi'n nabod cae am eilir a thrai blynyddoedd rwan ac oedd y gwaith wedi cael ei eglurro i mi be oedd o'n mynd i drio neud ond oedd ar ôl gweld ffordd yn symud yn y feddyddfaen oedd o'n emosiynol iawn ac oedd dim oedd ar y wrgylch y tabernacle hefyd a'r sŵn oedd meilir wedi greu yn cael ei ffaith o mae hwn yn waith celf arbennig ac o'n i'n ymryn tithig yn cael mynd i weld o. Mae ffaith mae'n cael ei bob amser yn deud les is mor um, gwneud y symudiadau araf araf yr un mor bwysig a'r rhai cyflym a o'n i'n gweld yn y gwaith yna gymaint o control y ganddo fo ar ei gorff ac ar y ffordd roedd y symudiadau yn minimalistig neu yn, yn fychan bach ond hefyd oedd yn ofo yn creu argraff mawr. Yn dan, dan i'n cael, dan i, mae o'n trio cael ni i fynd yn fwy ar y ddeg um, weithio mae yna mae'r adrenaline yn mynd full speed ond Mae dwi'n gweld eu ffaith pe mae'r wyn yn, yn symud yn aradig mae o'n i'n ffeithiol iawn. I guess, yeah, it's back to this thing. How, how, how can I learn even more to, to, to facilitate a space that allows the fullest possible expression um, through the dance so that each part of the person can come through, you know? Um, and that's about creating a space together that's safe enough, I guess. And that's about trust um, and support um, and that they can use the dance as a resource I hope also for their life, which is what they're speaking about. So it is a resource um, that's beyond um, that's beyond just meeting together. It has a they they they've built a community. They have. Dwi'n eisiau diolch o galon am gael y cyfle i cae ac i cain i'r galeri ac i cae yn enwedig dwi'n gwybod am yr holl ymdrech mae o wneud i ddod i fyny o Lundain at hynny. Um, da ni'n gwerthfarogi ddo a da ni'n gobeithio caethau o gario ymlaen am flynyddoedd i ddod hefyd.
ni trwy rhyw wyrth yn gallu cyfarfod yn fwy aml dwi'n siŵr faswn ni wrth y modd a'n ffendio fi hyn yn dawnsio pob dydd. <laughs> Mi'r 